Brasil. Titanic's plates are laid onto the hull in two ways. At the sides, the shell plates are alternately sunken and raised, while at the bottom of the hull, they are fastened using the clinker method with overlapping plates. A rivet squad consists of three men and two boys. On one side of the plate, the heater boy heats the iron rivets on a portable heart. Using tongs, he throws the rivet to the catch boy, who places it in the hole for the holder up, who holds the rivet head in place with the head of a holding up hat. Every plate had to be riveted in place, which was partially mechanized and partially done by hand by riveting squads. On the other side of the plate, two men work with smaller riveting hammers to fit the rivet tightly into a pre-punched hole, striking it in rapid succession. Riveters are paid by the number of rivets they insert. The best teams use one left and one right hand riveter. And with dozens of teams working, it's deafening in class. Above, we can see the steel decks being riveted in place. These are not intended to strengthen the ship, but they are rigid enough to resist the force of the hull being thrown by high seas. They also arc slightly upwards so that water falling onto them will drain overboard. At the stern of the ship, we pass over the massive castings that will support Titanic's rudder. These frames have to be enormously strong to withstand the force of the rudder turning in heavy seas. Nearly launch day, Titanic's enormous weight will soon be transferred from the supporting blocks to the launchways that will slide with the ship into the sea. The launchways have been greased with an inch of tallow and oil. Workmen will shortly risk serious injury by knocking away vertical wooden props under compression beneath the hull. At the moment of launch, the sliding ways will be released by hydraulic rams. It's the evening of the 30th of May, 1911. Tomorrow, Harland and Wolfe will launch Titanic, the heaviest object ever moved by man. Up to 100,000 people will gather on the banks of the River Lagan to watch. The Arl Gantry has been decked out with signal flags spelling good luck. And tonight, the whole city is celebrating the pride of Belfast.